Joining me now is former presidential candidate and founder and chairman of for American Cornerstone Institute, Dr. Benjamin Carson. Dr. Carson, it's great to see you. Uh, if the Surrender you, Caucus GOP and the Democrats succeed in this gambit, allowing a sitting president to weaponize government, to take out a candidate who isn't invested in covering for all the government's malign activity against our people, will we ever, sir, have a fair election in this country again? Well, it's a very good question. It's a serious question. You know, the fact of the matter is our, our founders uh, kind of anticipated a lot of things. And studying governments throughout history, they recognize that governments tend to grow, infiltrate, and dominate. And they put together a constitution that would keep ours from doing that. In that constitution, they gave oversight to Congress of the executive branch. And they created a situation where each branch could keep an eye on the others. However, Congress's enforcement arm was the Justice Department. If the Justice Department is in the pocket of the executive branch, then there is no mechanism in order to alleviate the problem of a corrupt executive branch. This is what we're seeing right now. It's a very severe problem the only solution to which is the people have to understand what's going on and massively demonstrate that in voting. However, the likelihood of them doing that is decreased when you have a media that has forgotten its responsibility. The reason that the media, the press, is the only business protected by the Constitution is because they were supposed to disseminate unbiased information to the people so the people would actually know what's going on so they correct the thing correct the thing during elections so we have a very serious situation going on here and uh, the people are going to have to wake up it's going to be the only solution the DOJ's latest sham indictment has only further rallied support behind President Trump, even from his fiercest critics. Take a look at this report from the National Review. Quote, this Trump indictment should not stand. Criminal prosecution is an inapt substitute for the congressionally driven political process that the Constitution set up to address gross abuses of power. End of quote. Mr. Secretary, do we have enough grown-ups in both political parties? Or is the majority in Washington made up of sellouts and charlatans? Well, I hope and pray that, that we have enough. I hope and pray that some people on the other side of the aisle will actually stop and consider where are we going? Where is this leading? What is going to happen to your children and your grandchildren? What kind of environment are they going to grow up in if we have a situation in which we weaponize the Justice Department against your political enemies? What happens when we get to a point where we say you can't express certain things. And if you do, you're subject to prosecution. Uh, that's what happens in totalitarian societies. This is what we are becoming. We have this last chance, I think, of saving ourselves. And that's what Benjamin Franklin was talking about when he came out of the Constitution Hall in 1787. He was asked, sir, what do we have here? A monarchy or yeah. a republic? He said a republic, if we can keep it. If you can keep it right. And it bears pointing out, uh, Mr. Secretary, that this third indictment came one day after bombshell evidence was presented against the Bidens. Here's Speaker Kevin McCarthy's reaction to the timing of all of this. He tweeted, uh, quote, Hunter received money from China contradicting President Biden's claim. President Biden spoke with Hunter's business associates over 20 times. Biden's DOJ tried to secretly give Hunter broad immunity and admitted the sweetheart deal was unprecedented. And just yesterday, new polls showed President Trump is without a doubt Biden's leading political opponent. Everyone in America could see what was going to come next. DOJ's attempt to distract from the news and attack the front runner for the Republican nomination, President Trump, end quote. Well, what's your read as, as you watch this all play out, Mr. Secretary? Well, it seems to me as if the, the, the Department of Justice is working hand in hand with the executive branch to distract the people's attention and to keep them from seeing what's really going on. And, and when something big comes out that's counter to the interest of the executive branch, 
the Department of Justice is right there, Johnny on the spot, to throw something else into the arena to distract people. And uh, it's a consistent yep. pattern. It's, it's happened at least three times already, and it will probably continue to happen. The people have got to understand we, the American people, are not each other's enemies. Let's not allow them to manipulate us and to turn our country into something that it was never intended to be. Amen to that. Dr. Benjamin Carson, sir, appreciate the visit, as always.